On the evening of October 12, 2002, the Indonesian island of Bali was alive with the sounds of celebration. The island, known for its serene beaches and vibrant nightlife, had long been a favorite destination for tourists from around the world. That night, hundreds of locals and visitors gathered in the bustling Kuta district, enjoying the bars, nightclubs, and restaurants that lined the streets. It was a night like any other, full of laughter and music. But just before midnight, that peace was shattered in an instant. A massive explosion rocked the popular Patty's Pub, followed by an even larger blast at the nearby Sari Club, sending shockwaves through the island and plunging Bali into chaos. The twin explosions, which occurred within seconds of each other, left behind a scene of unimaginable destruction. The blast tore through the densely packed nightclubs, reducing them to rubble in moments. The powerful second explosion, caused by a car bomb filled with ammonium nitrate, was so intense that it left a massive crater in the middle of the street. Flames engulfed the area as nearby buildings caught fire and the streets were littered with debris. Panic ensued as survivors, many of them injured and disoriented, tried to flee the inferno. Smoke and screams filled the air as people frantically searched for friends, loved ones, and a way out of the chaos. The immediate aftermath of the bombings revealed the horrifying human cost. A total of 202 people were killed, including 88 Australians, 38 Indonesians, and citizens from more than 20 other countries. Hundreds more were injured, many with severe burns and shrapnel wounds. Emergency services were overwhelmed as the injured were rushed to local hospitals, which were ill-equipped to handle a disaster of this scale. For many families, the bombings left an enduring scar parents, children, and friends lost forever in a senseless act of violence. As the fires raged and rescue workers combed through the debris, the full scope of the devastation began to sink in. Bali, a peaceful island of tranquility, had become the site of one of the worst terrorist attacks in Southeast Asia. As the dust settled, Investigators quickly determined that the attack was the work of a terrorist network. The bombings were attributed to Jama'a Islamiyah Ji, a militant Islamist group with ties to Al-Qaeda. The group's goal was to strike a blow against Western influence in the region, and the tourist hotspots of Kuta, filled with foreigners, provided the perfect target. The meticulous planning and coordination of the attack sent shockwaves through Indonesia and the international community. It became clear that the bombings were not just a random act of violence, but part of a larger, calculated effort to spread fear and terror throughout the region. For the people of Bali, the aftermath of the bombings was a time of profound grief and disbelief. Many locals had worked in the businesses that were destroyed, and entire families were left grieving for loved ones lost in the blast. Tourists who had come seeking paradise were instead faced with horror and loss. Vigils were held across the island, and makeshift memorials were erected near the bomb sites. The global community mourned alongside Bali as countries around the world grappled with the realization that terrorism had struck at the heart of a place known for its peace and beauty. For many, Bali had become a symbol of both the devastating impact of terrorism and the resilience of those who survived. In the days following the bombings, Indonesia and the international community united in a call for justice. The Indonesian government launched a massive investigation with assistance from Australian and other international authorities. Within weeks, several members of Jama'a Islamiyah were identified as the masterminds behind the attack. The international manhunt for the perpetrators began, leading to the capture and trial of key figures such as Imam Samudra, Ali Gufran, and Amrozi bin Nur Hasim, all of whom were later sentenced to death for their roles in the bombings. The swift response of the global community demonstrated a firm commitment to bringing those responsible to justice and preventing further attacks. Despite the horror of the bombings, the people of Bali and its visitors refused to let terror define their island. In the years following the attack, 
Bali began the slow process of rebuilding. The tourism industry, which had been devastated by the bombings, slowly recovered as visitors returned to show their support for the island. New security measures were implemented to ensure the safety of tourists and locals alike, and memorials were built to honor the victims of the attack. The Bali Peace Park now stands as a reminder of the lives lost and the hope that emerged in the aftermath of tragedy. While the scars of the bombing remain, Bali has shown incredible resilience, refusing to be defined by the acts of terror that sought to tear it apart. The Bali bombings of 2002 changed not only the island of Bali, but also the world's understanding of global terrorism. The attack revealed the growing reach of terrorist networks in Southeast Asia and underscored the importance of international cooperation in combating terrorism. In the years following the bombings, Indonesia intensified its efforts to dismantle terrorist organizations within its borders, leading to numerous arrests and the prevention of further attacks. The tragedy also forged stronger ties between nations affected by terrorism, particularly Indonesia and Australia, which shared the grief of the loss and worked closely together in the aftermath. Today, the memory of the Bali bombings lives on through annual memorial services held in Bali and around the world. Families of the victims continue to gather each year to honor their loved ones and reflect on the resilience of the survivors. The Bali Bombing Memorial, a striking structure adorned with the names of the victims, serves as a place of reflection and remembrance for visitors from across the globe. The legacy of the bombings is one of both sorrow and strength, a reminder of the fragility of life, but also of the incredible courage, unity, and resilience that arose in the face of terror. Thank you.